All right. Woo, you made it to Friday. Boo. Here we go. Surface area review. All right. This is the last thing we did as you uh, just before spring break. All right. So a cylinder is a three dimensional object and we need to calculate the area of covering the whole thing. This would be like wrapping a present and using wrapping paper. OK, and so we have to cover the top, which is a circle. We're going to have to cover the bottom, which is the same size circle. And then we have to go around the side. OK, and if you can envision unrolling this side, I'm wondering if I've got one here. I don't have one handy, but when you unpeel that, it is a rectangle. OK, so you have a circle on the top. That's the top base. You have a circle on the bottom. That's the bottom base. So you have two bases. And then we've got this basically like the label off of a can. And it ends up being a perfect rectangle where this is the height. And then this edge is once around the circle or the circumference. And circumference here is really the same as pi times diameter. OK, so every time we see a cylinder and I'm asking for surface area, this is what I need you to think. Now, <clears throat> the great state of Minnesota uses this formula for your formula sheet, which really the two capital or two times the capital B, you have two bases, the top and the bottom. So those are the two circles. And then perimeter times the height. Well, the perimeter of that circle once around is circumference so circumference times the height all right we can do this we were doing this i'm not a big fan of the formula i think if you can just simply recall that this sucker has a circle on the top and a circle on the bottom and then you have the side all right so it's the top the bottom and the side top bottom and the side here we go this is pi times radius squared or pi rr. All right. So if you want to do that part first, go ahead and take 3.14 times 3 squared and the, or 3 times 3. Okay. So you have pi times 9. And I think you get something like 28 and 26 hundredths. Okay. Write it down so you don't lose track of all these pieces because this is where you want to just all of a sudden start, just keep adding it all on your calculator without writing stuff down. And I frankly want you to kind of keep each piece separate and then we'll get a total at the end. This piece, this five is this side of the rectangle, the height. The bottom of the rectangle is once around the circle. That's the circumference, which is gonna be pi times diameter. OK, so let's see here. Diameter is all the way across. That's going to be 6. So I have to take pi times 6 times 5. So go ahead and grab your calculator. 3.14 times diameter is 6 times the height, which is 5. And you should get 94 and 2 tenths. OK. Now, I'm going to get that mess out of the way. Now, add all of that together to get your grand total. It's area, so your label's going to be square feet. There you go. 150 and 72 hundredths square feet. Cool. All right, let's try another one. Just because I want to see... I want you to see this one. All right, here's a cylinder. Find the surface area. Use 3.14 for pi. Round to the hundredths place. Okay. Now, here's what's different this time. 10 is the diameter. Okay. So if my diameter is 10, my radius, which I need to find my top and bottom circles, is 5. Okay. Pi r squared. Pi times 5 squared pi times 5 times 5. Go ahead and do that part. 25 times pi is like 78.5. 
Yep. Same thing again. That's that one. Then we've got the rectangle. So let's take a look here. The rectangle, the 12 is the height of the rectangle. It's right there. The base of the rectangle is once around the circle. That is pi times the diameter, which is 10. So you're going to have to now, to get the area of this, take 3.14 times 10 times 12. I think that's what I get. Check me. Is that what you got? And then grand total, those three things, 78 and 5 tenths, 78 and 5 tenths, 376 and 8 tenths. Holy cow, our final, final answer, square inches. Ta-da. There you go. Cool. All right. Here's what I want you to do. Here's the last one. So I want you to pause the video. I want you to work this one out. And when you come back, check and see if we got the same answer. Pause me now. All right, here's the grand moment or the grand reveal. All right, so first things first. Circle, circle, rectangle. Top, bottom, and all the sides. So radius is 26, that's kind of big. 2,122.64 for each of those circles. Pi times diameter, Diameter is going to be 52. The height is 46. Holy cow, thank goodness for a calculator. Can you imagine trying to do all that by hand? Gross. I end up with a grand total here of 11,756 and 1,600 square meters. Hot diggity. If you didn't get it right, go back and double check some of your calculations, see what I've got. Now, as you're done with this, your next step is go and take your attendance and then go on to the assignment. Happy calculating.